let's make some french toast i saw this on tiktok so i thought i'd give it a go and of course you know me it's all about the markdowns so we have some hot dog rolls here that of course were marked down so they're great because um being kind of a day old bread they're just a little bit firmer as well so they'll hold their shape a little bit better so first of all i did one roll per person and i just cut it up into little chunks Next up, I'm just making an egg wash and I've literally just made this up. So I've put in two eggs, about half a cup of milk and just a good heap of cinnamon powder and mixed it all together. Now this mix that I made covered all three of the hot dog rolls that I had cut up. I literally was scraping the bottom of the barrel to get it all soaked up. So it was the perfect amount. I'm also making a sugar and cinnamon mix. So this is just caster sugar. And again, I just sprinkle in some ground cinnamon powder and mix it all through. In hindsight, I don't really think that this is very good because by the time the bread cooks, it doesn't have like a wet buttery outside for it to have the sugar to adhere to it. Like you do see in a lot of pictures and stuff so i'm sure that's food photography but i just found that logically this did not work well at all if you wanted like a sugar type coating i would say either brush with some melted butter and then dip it in there or what i ended up doing the next day that i made all of this is i just sprinkled cinnamon sugar over the top of the pieces once they were on the plate It's time to start cooking and I would highly recommend that you do this on a low heat. So lower for longer rather than sort of a medium heat, which is what I ended up with. They're a little bit like pancakes. The first one might come out a little bit overcooked, which is what happened to me. Um, I just failed to underestimate how fast this really did cook. So yeah, you'll see in a minute there's some quite cooked pieces, but still they got eaten nonetheless. And at a medium heat, literally maybe two minutes on each side, and that was it. I kept turning these constantly, which I seem to be the key. So here's the first lot that I did. You can see how it's starting to clump the sugar together because of the heat. So yeah, and the sugar's not really sticking to the bread at all. So I just think that was a little bit of a waste of time. So just assembling on the plate with some fruit and then a drizzle of cream and it's all good to go. If you make these, do let me know. I hope that this has given you some inspiration for the day old bread and what you can do with it. Subscribe if you haven't already. We would love to have you as part of our Frugal Fun family. I'm off to finish my brunch. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.